There is a survival game that you've probably never heard of, and it just never took off for some reason. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what this game was, and I'm going to show you some gameplay. This will be the first episode, however, I don't plan on doing any more episodes, but if we reach 200 likes on this video, then maybe I'll consider doing a, another video on this game. This game is quite dead. There's about 70 to 30 odd players playing this game to this day. However, this game had so much potential back in its day that I don't understand why it didn't take off. Now, there are a few bugs that are still existing in the game, but it's still fun to go back and try a old game that was going to be part of my channel, but for some reason just never took off. It has been years, and I mean years, since I've actually hopped onto this game. It's insane. I was surprised to even find a server with players on. I was like really, really surprised. But I can say this game has aged really, really, really well. It's it's looking pretty damn stunning, actually. It's one of the better games I've seen in a while. Wow. Yeah, so this is a survival game that you probably have never heard of, and it never took off, sadly. I don't understand why, because it had a lot going for it. There was a few little quirks and things that I never really liked, but for some reason I'm a lady. And I did change that, but you know what, we'll just roll with it, you know. We got them nice knockers and yeah, it's great. It's fantastic, good views. And, well, I'm not too clued up about this game, but I, I don't think much has changed actually. I mean, there I got a torch. But you can see how stunning this game looks. I don't know if you guys can see it on YouTube itself, because yeah, with YouTube's compression with greenery and scenery is not very great. There's a jerry can. And then my bag, and I got my jeans. I don't have much space for this stuff, but apparently I can put a big jerry can in my jeans. That'd be nice. There's a wheel there. I'm not going to take that. So yeah, basic survival game. Uh, what I got? Do I have a map? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, you got to eat drink all that good stuff uh, you got first person third person uh, now there are other players on the server surprisingly there's about 30 other people uh, but that's it guys all the other servers are very quiet there's about 30 people playing and that's it which is kind of sad because like I said this game had lots of potential um, I'm trying to figure out the movement again you can see how nice it looks it's, it looks a little bit like last of us I think that's what they were going for um, so, there's a bit of a story to this game, and it brings back some... Um, that's new. I've never seen that before. What am I supposed to do? Am I, can I hit it? I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> there's a cockroach! <laughs> how, do I, how do I kill this thing? I don't think I should try, honestly. Let's just leave it alone. That's new. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Let's just run away from that. That's so strange. Oh, it's just hanging out over there. Okay, we'll leave him be. But yeah, like I said, there's a bit of a story to this game with my channel as well. This game was actually supposed to be a pretty big thing on my channel. And if you go back on my YouTube channel, and you'll see there is like one or two videos of me playing Miscreated. And they were really, really badly edited videos. Uh, but, there's a workbench, look at that. Wait, can you actually use that? Use crafting workbench, so I think you can kind of, yeah, you can use it like that. That's cool. Yeah, so those videos are super badly edited, and like my voice is terrible. I, I try to do like a little bit of a story with this. I was gonna be like a cannibal and whatnot and eat people because I think you can do that in this game. I'm not sure if I remember correctly. I think you can. Uh, okay, so what we'll do, guys, we'll just play around. We'll go loot. We'll take a look at some of the cities and stuff, some of the towns. See if we can come across any other players, and then I can chat with them and kind of ask them about the game if they've been playing for longer than I have. Okay. Look at these lockers. I heard something outside. Was that a chicken? Hmm. Yeah, so that little cockroach thing I came across is definitely new to me. Again, I I think the last time I played this game was back in 2013 or something. I can't remember actually exactly when it came out. Ooh. Some nice gloves. Ooh, nice. That looks pretty cool. But you can see how everything inside the buildings and whatnot is just, like, stunning. It's like... So freaking awesome. It, it's really amazing how they did that. That's why I'm a little bit sad that it never really took off. This is one of the better survival games that was uh, doing pretty well for its time. Oh, axe. Is that an axe? I can't seem to get it. Hang on. Let's grab the axe. Hey, yes. Now we got a weapon. Nice. Let's see. 
Now, there are no zombies in this game. There are something similar, I would say. They are mu mutants, basically. They walk around, and there's a big guy as well, like um, one of those big guys from Resident Evil that walk around in one of the towns, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it's still like that. But yeah, there's no zombies. So your main threat here would be the players. What's this? Um, get repair kit. I think I'm going to take that. But now I'm already full. I'm going to find myself a bag. Yeah, there is crafting. I think you can craft yourself uh, equipment as well. So like little rucksack bags and whatnot. And the weapons, uh, only ammunition, consumables. I think once you get a base going, because you can't build in this, uh, you can actually start making new things with different workbenches and stuff. So I don't think we'll get to the base building. We're just going to go around and explore, take a look at what's happened with this game. But from playing years ago, there's not much of a difference, like visually, that I've seen. Even the inventory is exactly the same as what it was. Oh, if you check in the back of the vehicles, there's stuff as well. There you go. Juice. Tomato juice. That sounds horrible. I know my mother used to love tomato juice. Oh my goodness, a flippin' bow. Yeah, my mother used to love tomato juice, and she always used to drink it. <laughs> and it was disgusting, because it was like proper tomato juice. It's like tomato sauce, with, but juice. Now I'm trying to think now, is an axe or a baseball bat better? It's a nailed baseball bat. Hmm, nah, I think I'll take the axe. But it's pretty cool, because all the stuff that you pick up actually is on your character. You can see I'm holding the bow now as well. I'm just trying to think if I can... Yeah, let me just see if I can... I don't have any arrows, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. But you know what's crazy? I've never seen, like, any of the Seven Days to Die creators actually even play this game. I, I could be wrong, like, you know, Cage and uh, Cap or Glock. They've never ever tried this game, but it is very old. What the hell's that? What is that? Is that a rock or a crab or something? It's, it looks like a rock. I'm gonna go check what this is. Oh, it's like a mining ore or something. Okay. What happens if I take a, uh... An axe to it? What happens? Oh. Nothing. Okay. Just wondering what that was. Oh, that's another thing! I remember when this game came out, I was like, wow, the water's so awesome! Uh, but you must remember, this came, this game came from, like, the idea of Daisy, and Daisy's water system was awful it was so bad and when this game came out I was like wow look at this water it's so nice it's so much better than Daisy <laughs> oh yeah good times bringing back some memories I think I see um, I think I see someone's b base is that base foundations no it's not yeah so this game started showing up around seven days to die around that era you see Daisy was super popular in its day and that's what I think sparked the creation of survival zombie mutated genre. And this was a game that was to take away from the zombies, but to put mutated stuff in it. Like this cockroach, which I'm going to slam. Come on! Ooh, okay, it got me there. Nice, so I killed it now. It wasn't too hard. Can I loot this thing? I don't know if I can. Can I loot it? Doesn't look like I can. No. What if I take an axe and cut it up? Something gonna happen? Am I hitting myself? Jeez, why am I bleeding? Oh, is that the blood from that? Maybe you need like a knife or something. Am I hitting myself? It feels like I'm hitting myself. Yeah, I think I need a knife. Wait, let's hold the axe and then hold F or E or something. Nah. Okay. Okay, so we are going to Pinecrest. I know that town. <gasps> there you go. There was a mutated guy there. Just think of something like from, you know, I Am Legend, that movie. Very much like that. And that's one of them. And I think they're quite tough as well, so I'm gonna leave that guy alone. He hasn't seen me yet. Uh, if I had a bow, maybe, or a gun. I think guns are quite abundant. We'll see now. Gotta look around. But look how nice the game looks still. It's insane. It's such an old game. <laughs> it just looks so much better than most of our games that are out now. Okay, we're coming across our first town. I do think this is a popular town in terms of players. And I suck at this game. I have no idea what I'm doing. And, okay, there's another mutated guy. Oh, he's seen me. I don't know if I should try and kill him because, yeah. <laughs> is that a good idea? 
We can try, but uh, I'm probably gonna get wrecked. Oh my goodness, this is not going well. Okay, he died. Look at that. I'm, I'm bleeding now. That's not good. Um, I wonder if I can, like, tear up my, my, my... Okay, I'm bleeding. I need to find some rags or something. Can I craft? What can I craft? Can I craft a, uh, consumables? Bandages, 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 bandages. Equipment. Okay, so, there you go. Done. I had to tear up my, uh, my jacket in order to get a rag to heal myself, but that seemed to have fixed it. I was kind of getting worried there, but now... We're looking sexy. This is gonna hopefully help out uh, when we find a player. You know, we can seduce them. We're gonna be like, look at up, look at the knockers, man. They're very small though, but you know what? That's fine. Yeah, that 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 escalated pretty badly. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm stressing. Don't die, don't die, don't die on the first video. Don't die, because <laughs> that's horrible. But now I'm in the town. I should find a lot of um, a lot of clothes and things that I can put on. But at least I know how to uh, heal myself if I get into a, a bad situation. I think this is the town that has that big Shrek guy. Well, Hulk guy, more like. I'm actually kind of concerned about that. Because he's like badass. Now, there are vehicles in the game as well. You can find them and repair them and stuff. Like, I think when I tried this game out yesterday, I found a tractor and I had to repair it. So that's still a thing. I didn't do it though. Okay, what's this? Uh, salvage electronics. I'm looking for clothes now because I'm so naked now. <laughs> I'm so naked. Uh, salvage tools. I'm, I'm actually worried about those mut those mutants. I wonder if they can get in here. I don't think so. There's a, a, a pan, a pot. I need them clothes, man. Running around naked. I also need like a bag. I was going to make maybe a rucksack bag or something. I'm not a fan of crafting too much. I like to find my goods. Oh, there's usually guns, like, next to the beds. Well, that's how it was last time. There's a, uh, another bat there. I don't know if an axe or a bat is better. Ooh, shoes! Don't mind if I do. Those are, like, boots. Nice. Yeah, there's really not much in this, this house. I don't know if I can go through the windows, either. No, so I have to go at the front. That mutated guy's out there. I'm gonna try and avoid him, because... If I get hit again, I've got nothing to heal myself with. And I can't take my pants off now because that's not going to end very well. Can I get over this? No. Dang it, there's no vaulting in this game. Why is that? I guess it's an old game. <laughs> like, I think it's like now a standard that games have vaulting now. Ahem, <clears throat> 7 days. <laughs> it doesn't have vaulting. Ooh, okay. Now we're talking. Now is a carrot. Like, it says Rotten Carrot, though. That doesn't sound safe. That's another thing. When I was trying the game out yesterday, oh my goodness, I was eating things, and I was like, this is okay. This is okay, and you get sick if you eat them, so it's not a, it's not a good idea to eat the rotten stuff. I think canned stuff is usually okay. Sunglasses. Yes. Oh, yes. Now, now we, we're looking sexy. Even more sexy now. We got sunglasses, but we don't have any, uh, any shirt. Another sun, more sunglasses and stuff. So I don't think there's any perks or anything. This is just a straightforward, um, straightforward game, straightforward survival game. Like you know, like Seven Days. Search. Cranny, okay. Don't know why it's called Cranny. What the hell? Why is the couch called a Cranny? Is that a thing? Something I don't know about. You know, see, just loot everything. Take a look. See if we can find more shoes. Are these better condition though? These are combat shoes. Mm, what are these? These are black combat shoes. Okay, they're the same. So it's not a big deal. Let's keep the ones I got. Yeah, so guys, if you are enjoying this video, be sure to smack the like button. It does help. If you are new to the channel as well, you know, you can subscribe. It helps out a lot. Be join our Discord. Become part of the community a bit. Okay. Nothing in there. I remember finding guns, like, in the bedrooms next to the bed. I don't know if it's still a thing. I wouldn't mind trying a gun out, actually. What's this? Empty cans. There's really not much in these places, is there? It's very possible that a, another player... Wait a second. I already had sunglasses. I didn't even know. It's very possible that another player has come around. You are less hungry. The item was harmful. Oh. <gasps> Whoops. What? How'd that be harmful? It's a little chocolate bar. 
Okay. That's a rookie move. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm a noob to this game. I thought that would be fine to eat, but it wasn't. I just got myself infected. Is that, like, bad? Am I gonna die from that? I got a funny feeling I'm gonna die from that. It's, it, I'll be honest, there's not much that I feel that's changed over the years, which probably may be why it died out. Because it just feels like they haven't done major improvements to this game. Keep out. Okay, that means go in. But I think I'm wasting my time in these houses here, yeah, guys. It feels like a player has been through here. All the doors are open. And it just feels like that a player has ransacked everything in here. So your best bet would be to find, like, farms and stuff. Because then, you know, people don't go out to the farms. They go into the cities. So let's go into the main town and see if we can see anything other than... Oh! Hang on a second, turn around. He's seen me. Can he run? Okay, he can run pretty dang fast. We're gonna have to take care of him. Now, the combat's pretty weird. If, I, if only I had a gun, that would make my life better. Wait, I picked up a rag just now? Where did it go? Okay, there you go. Whew. A little bit concerned there. So, my health is actually going down. I don't know if it was because I got hit there. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm okay. It was just because I got hit there. I'm worried about the infection that I've got. I don't know. I think it may just reduce your stats a bit. This blur on the screen is frustrating. And I turned motion blur off just for the specific reason not to have blur. <laughs> Hoodie, can I can I wear that? Like, can I stack? No, I cannot. Is it going to be better though? What's the screen in black hoodie? I'm not sure. Um, what is this? This is just a yeah. The hoodie might be better because it's. Oh my goodness! You have to drop everything, and then replace it. That's a bit annoying. How do I get rid of this? Hello, drop it. Long sleeve. Oh, I see. Okay. They're going to be more sp- no, it didn't. Makes me stand out a little bit more, though. It's just a pain that you got to pick it up every time you want to- You want to change it, right? That actually kind of looks cool. I like that hoodie. I'll carry that around. Search desk. Okay. Nothing was found. I don't really like this- this- this kind of searching thing. Because when you search something like this, it automatically picks it up for you. Which I don't really like because- you get a little bit confused. There's one of these things. That's a spider. Okay. Let's just leave that alone. Yeah, so it picks up things that I don't really want to pick up. I don't have much space. What the hell? It just blew up. What's this in the corner? Yeah, I'm kind of battling to find some good stuff here, guys. It's like really bad. Okay. Well then, let's head to maybe another town. Maybe we might get lucky there. I do see something in the distance there, like air balloon things. I'm not sure what that's about. But, uh, yeah, if I see anybody or see anything, maybe I want. I kind of want to go this way because I know there's a river. If I follow a river, maybe that might be better. Okay, so I've come across, like, a little base, and I just wanted to show you guys how the base building kind of looks and how it works. Uh, obviously, I can't, I can't really show you how it works because I don't have anything to build with yet. But uh, this is what it basically looks like. Um, oh wow, he's actually got a chest here. Although I can't seem to open it though. Maybe, maybe I can't open it, but yeah, that's how it looks. So you would build a base like this and then this is like your land claim block. Morning. So you place that down and you can uh, start building in the area and that stops other people from building as well. It looks like he's actually active because there's a jerry can that's just placed on the floor there. Which means he might be around actually. This blur on the screen is kind of frustrating for the content. I hope it's not worrying you guys too much. I heard something there. It's just a bird. So I've been walking for a bit. I did find um, some new pants and some binoculars as well. So let's actually see how those binoculars work. Um, number six, there you go. Let's see if I can try to figure out how to use the dang thing. Whoa, 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 I'm, I'm friendly. This is a player, guys. This is a player, what the hell? Hey! 
Hey, chillax your bones, man. Chillax, I got an axe. What the hell, man? What's up with that? <laughs> Just kill the player. <laughs> Why did he want to come and beat me up? Yo, I wasn't going to do anything. I was friendly guy. This is what he had on him. Nothing. No wonder why he wanted to beat me up. He had nothing worth the value. Okay, I'm guessing that was his house then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, the game's very friendly. If you didn't know. There's another base over there, guys. <laughs> okay, so the problem with that now, though, if he had a gun, I probably would have been dead. So that's why you got to be pretty careful. Definitely a PvP game. There's no... Uh, PvE aspect at all, I wouldn't say. So unless you want to run around and survive against mutants, but that's not fun, right? Geez, that guy was really determined to kill me. I mean, I had an axe. I mean, he brought a, a fist to an axe fight. I don't think that was wise. Can I drink this? No. But yeah, uh, I'm glad I actually came across a player, because... <laughs> The game is dying, there's like no more players playing the game, and the only guy that's left is the one that wants to smash you in the face. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I wish I had a gun though, because that would have been better if I had a gun. Let me see what's in the back here. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the back here. The problem, this is like on the road, wait a second, this is water, right? You are less, oh, you can drink this. That's nice actually really needed something like that. And that's like clean water as well. What was that noise? I just heard something, guys. There's oil in there. I hear something, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. What's up, man? What's up, what's up? I'm completely friendly. How's it going? The guy in the blue shirt. What's hey, up? I don't... I don't uh, speak English. You don't speak English. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. At least he knows a little bit of English, right? There you go. So there's another player. So I guess if you follow the roads, you come across... Uh, yeah, I could have smashed his brains out there, but... Uh, it's not worth it. I don't think... If I had a gun, maybe we would have done something. But running around with an axe, he could just keep running and I'll get him eventually. But uh, that's two people that I've seen already now in this little area, which makes me think that this area is not not very safe in terms of players. That's why a gun is needed. Oh, a bag. Oh, yes, a purple bag. Very nice. There's one of those things now. Try and avoid combat because I don't have much rags. I don't want to tear up everything. It's pretty cool how you can hear the players, though. I heard those footsteps. It could have been a, mute, a mutant, but the problem was the, the, the mutant makes a noise, and that wasn't any noise. I didn't hear anything from that. Alright, let's check the signs. Right, so this is Sultan Pinecrest. What's that way? Let's just check the signs. See, this game, you have to use signs to figure out where you want to go. But then again, if you're new to the game, you don't really know where you want to go, right? Okay, so, wow. this That way is terror, apparently. I think I want to go towards Terra. <gasps> uh, what? Wait a second. Wait, I do have a map. What? <gasps> I have a map. I didn't realize. That's cool. Does it show you where I am at? Uh, oh, my, my, my vision's a bit blurry, but... Okay, so I just came from... Pinecrest, I think. Yes. So, Pinecrest is down here, you see? So, I walked... Where did I go now? I I'm I can't see. It's a bit blurry for me. I can't really see. Okay, I think I know where I'm at, right? So Pinecris is there, and I'm at the intersection there. So where it says Terra is actually towards that airfield over there, which is exactly where I want to go. I want to go to the airfield because the airfield should be a military compound, and military compound actually has military loot. But the problem with that. Is that there's probably gonna be another player there. What does this microphone do, by the way? 
Hello, hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> this is the FBI. Come out. Yeah. I don't really know what I would use this for. As it say. Uh, a megaphone used to speak loudly to crowns. Nice. Okay. I don't think we really want to be messing around with that. The trick is not to let people know you're coming. And that's going to let them know I'm coming. So we don't want that. I'm just trying to keep an eye. Oh, by the way, guys. Let me tell you something, right? So, back in the Daisy days, days, you could walk... Um, it was basically when you would walk up hills, it would be super painful to do it in Daisy. It was that it was a horrible feature. Um, so games try to. I see somebody. How did I even hear that though? That's crazy. Why have I got a glass bottle now? Wait, six, six, six. Come on, there you go. Right, we see somebody. I don't think he's seen me, because he wouldn't be running around like that. Does, it, does he have a gun, though? Oh, no. He's got a bat, though. I don't want to mess with him, because it's going to be like a 50-50 thing. How did I know, though? I heard something. I heard. I thought I heard a car, and then I turned around, and then there was this guy walking around. It's actually very nice to, to play a game like this. It's been such a long time. I mean, Daisy is, is very much like this. you got to watch out for everybody. But look at this guy. He's trying to find his loot. Just living his day, living his life. Yellow shirt man. Wait a second, what if I... Guys, I got an idea. Attention! Attention! <laughs> this is the FBI! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! FBI! Can he? <laughs> Jump twice if you're friendly. <laughs> okay. Now drop all your stuff and leave it there and walk away. Or, the, or you'll be shocked. Make your decision. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's doing it. <laughs> He's doing it. What? Once you have done that, walk away and don't return. <laughs> don't do it, man. I need advice, please. Is that him? He's leaving. <laughs> no way he did that. I don't even have a gun. Keep walking, young man. You'll, you'll be shot. Can you hear me? I'm worried I go down there and... Can you shoot me? I don't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> I don't have a gun. He doesn't realize. He doesn't even realize I don't even have a gun. This isn't my server. Okay. Well... Let's just leave him there. I need help. Just leave him. <laughs> oh, he doesn't really care about his character. He probably just started. Let's get to that uh, airfield. Okay, folks, uh, I've s I see the airfield, so I know exactly where I am on the map now, so that's good. There's the plane. There's a plane there as well. I'm going to go take a look. We'll go down there. Have Nothing's really happened, by the way. I'm just walking around. Um, I think the problem with a game like this is that back then, there were so many survival games coming out. I think that... I think I just heard a gunshot. Like, no joke. I think I just heard a gunshot. Hmm, there's a ba that's someone's base, by the way. That's a very stupid place to put a base. <laughs> that's very stupid. Um, yeah, so like I said, this, like, this game had so much competition going for it. You know, you had so many games coming out, like Rust and all that. During that time, Rust, DayZ was the competitor there, so... It's difficult to compete with all these survival games. <laughs> the guy in the chat, guys. 
Wow, there, there must be... Why is that? <laughs> wow, there must be an asshole on the server. Why? <laughs> Sleep to drop all the shit. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Don't listen to that, guys. If anybody says drop all your stuff, like if you can't see the guy and he doesn't have a gun, then don't just drop your stuff. Ask him to come out so you can see he's got a gun because this happens a lot. You just pretend you got a gun. I, I was to ask a bloody question and the people are threatening me and ignoring me. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> Poor guy. Come on, it's a PvP game. You gotta be careful, man. Alright, so now... This place, I'm pretty sure is a... A hot zone, which means there's gonna be lots of players around. There, I, I'm thinking there, because the last time I played, there were people there, like years ago. I remember that. Years ago, there were people around there. Right, I guess we're going to go out, go down, and take a look. See if we can find ourselves a gun. There should be, it's an army base, surely. Unless it's been scavenged and looted. But like I said, I heard a gun. So I don't know if I should be concerned. You know what I can maybe pretend to do is just like pretend to be a uh, pretend to be a grill. I don't know if I can. I can pretend to be a grill, a, a, a grill, a grill. Oh my goodness! Why am I saying it so badly? What's wrong with me? A lady, okay. I'll pretend to be a lady. I just want to figure out how I'm gonna do that. I'll have to. Hello there. Yeah. Oh, okay, that'll work. I'll just pretend to be a a grill. A, a lady, dang it, what's wrong with me? So, army bases have medical places. So I'm wondering if I can fix my infection here. There's a tire here. Alright, so, we gotta listen out. Thank goodness for 7.1 surround sound headset because I can hear lots of things and it scares me most of the time. Right, what do we got here? Tear rags, okay, this is just tense. Come in here. Um, what are those shoes? What's that? Oh, it's a mask. Okay, okay, that makes me look like more like a guy now. Not that it matters, really. Oh, what's that? Tear rag. I'm just listening, guys. I thought I heard something. I think it's the tents making noises. You should see at night time, guys. You can see everyone using their flashlights. It's kind of funny. There is night vision in the game that you can find as well. I think these bunks here are going to be better off if I can find something in here. Oh, nice. Can I... Am I wearing that? Nice, I am wearing that. It's a, it's a little hat thing. Bandana. Okay, well, what's that? Uh, a police baton. No, I think my axe is better. Another megaphone. What's up with all the megaphones, guys? Nothing was found. I'm very scared to be around here. This must be a hot area, guys. Has to be, has to be, has to be. I mean, there has to be players here. Surely, surely, surely. I mean, every time I've ca I, I've, I've come here, like back in the past, there's always been someone here. So you never really walk out alive unless you kill the guy. What's this? Uh, a green hex shirt. Um, wait, is that just a shirt now? Yeah, I don't think it's... It's got... That's minus. It's only got two slots. This has um, three slots. Oh, so it actually tells you. Okay, I didn't even realize. Let's tear that into rags. Okay. That's nice to know then. Oh, yes! I found a shotgun, guys, with some ammunition. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. Now, what slot does it take, though? I'm going to drop that. Can I put it into that slot? Yes! Freaking nice. Also found a shoulder pad as well, which is a bit strange for a game like this, guys. So... Yeah, look, if you see me now, I've got like a left shoulder patter. That's interesting. I didn't even know that, that existed. Um, so the shotgun now. Let's see how this looks. How do I see if there's ammunition in it, though? Is there a way to... Can I maybe inspect it? Break down? No, I don't want to break it down. I mean, I can't shoot it. Okay, I did pick up some ammunition. I don't know if it was the right ammunition. Uh, I don't think so. I think it was a five something. It wasn't shotgun rounds. So I don't think I actually have ammo for this gun. 
Which is kind of a shame, but there has to be ammo somewhere, right? Has to be ammo somewhere. For a shotgun, I'm spe especially a shotgun, that's a very common gun. Okay, we got it. Yeah. Alright, at least we found a gun now, that's nice. I can use it to threaten people, be like, Hands up! But I don't have any ammo, so if they start shooting back, well, I'm pretty much doomed. <laughs> Uh, another thing is when you're carrying a gun with you as well, people like to see it as an opportunity to get a gun, so then they'll kill you. Alright guys, so this video is going on a little bit longer than I wanted it to go on, so I'm probably going to end the video here. I don't know if I'll continue it, I just really wanted to give the game a try and see if there's anything changed since last time I played it, and not really. It's kind of been like this for a very long time. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying that it hasn't really got much of a change. I think the map itself has also changed, though. I think that's changed. I think there's new areas of interest. Um, but other than that, I think that's about it. I don't think there's any much of a change. But again, I could be wrong. Uh, I do hear some something there. So yeah, I'm going to log off right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more, and we'll check you guys in the next video. If you really want me to continue playing this game, hit the like button. If I reach 200 likes on this video, I'll do another one. Bye, everybody.